It's about food, it's about getting together with family, and for kids, it's about money. It is a Lunar New Year celebrated by many different ethnic groups. Well, it's one of the biggest holidays in uh, Vietnam and China as well, and uh, just considering the portion of our students that have a heritage there or have actually lived there in the, their lives, I think it's really important. For the university, it's important to recognize those cultures and uh, traditions so that we understand them better and we can actually work together as a whole university family. It's, it's another excuse to party. My understanding or my feeling is it's more um, winter turning into spring. You definitely want to bring in the new year with a clean you, a new you. Focus on hygiene. I celebrate with my grandparents, my parents, and all those cousins, and we have the dinner together. We also get some money. We have a son who's actually now 22, but still gets down on his knees and does the bow to his granddad and walks away with 100 bucks. We would all kind of huddle outside, we say a cauldron or something, and we would burn the money. It's fake money that would go to our ancestors, so they have prosperity and have enough money to live comfortably up there as well. <laughs> well, traditionally in um, my family, we have traditional Vietnamese foods like uh, bun duck. Lunar New Year means to me spending time with my family and like seeing what kind of wacky dishes they cook up. Lunar New Year means celebrating uh, old traditions with new family. Lunar New Year means to me connecting generations together and uh, building prosperity within family. For me, uh, Lunar New Year's is a time for my son to connect with his granddad. Happy Lunar New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.